What's up everybody? So glad you're here. Math with Chris. We're going to find the factors of a half century uh, 50. 50 is nifty. Let's get to it. First two factors we always bank are the two easiest ones. One and the number itself, 50. Uh, now we're going to branch out 50 using our factor tree. And then we need to think of two numbers that multiply together to give us 50. Uh, there's a couple different options. Let's go with 5 times 10. Uh, 5. 5 a prime number. Indeed it is. 5 is done. That's nice and easy. Nothing more to do there. What about 10? Can 10 be broken down further? Yes, it can. 10 is, of course, 2 times 5. And uh, both 2 and 5 are prime numbers, so this was nice and simple. We are already done. You can see all, uh, all tree branches end in a circled prime number. We got a 2, a 5, and another 5. That means 2 times 5 times 5 equals 50. Those are the prime factors of 50. So we can add the prime factors to our factor bank. That's a 2 and a 5. Um, and anything we hit along the way gets added as well. We saw a 10 briefly there. So 10 gets put into the factor bank. And now is there any other combination of these three factors down here, 2, 5, and 5, that can multiply together to give us a number not in the bank yet. Well, 2 times 5, we already have the 10. 2 times 5, we already have that 10. What about 5 times 5? 5 times 5 is, of course, 25. That needs to get added, so let's do that. And that's all the combinations, so we are done. We got six factors of a half century here. Uh, the factors are 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and nifty 50. We're done. Uh, well done guys. Uh, we have more examples of these finding factors using factor trees. Check out some of our uh, other videos if you need more practice. Thanks everyone. Until next time, have a great day.